Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to our channel I'm Farisa Khan today I'm going to share past paper of Jinko test for junior engineer which were conducted by NTS click on subscription below right there are the previous parts 1 to 5 you can check in the description below so starting from the question number 51 as it is a part 6th of our playlist theory of Jenko test 51 question is asking about the higher efficiency can be obtained at a higher temperature and this is dictated by the Carnot efficiency and what you mean by the Carnot efficiency you can see by this diagram there are the formula given over here that efficiency is equals to 1 minus T H by T C. H represents U over here heat and cool for this C for the cool. So Carnot efficiency is a maximum efficiency that an engine heat engine may have the operating between two temperatures, heat and cold. Basically, it has a process which have four steps over here to describe these four steps. We said that first step shows you the process is reversible and it is named as the isothermal gas expansion. And in this process, the amount of heat absorbed by the ideal gas, it is said to be Q in because it is going inside the uh, circuit. You can see by this uh, diagram, it is heat gas expansion is going inside that process. So from the heat source at the temperature th the gas expansion and does work on the surroundings number two step is said to be the process is also a reversible and its name is adiad adiabatic gas expansion the here is the system is thermally uh, insulated so thermally insulated means what uh, that the gas continues to expand and work is done on the all around surroundings now the temperature is lower T1. You can see by the diagram there it is a giving adiabatic process number 2. Afterwards here comes the third steps that shows you that about the uh, reversible isothermal gas compression process. So third step is for the compression. Here the heat loss that gives you the Q out occurs when the surrounding do the work at the temperature T1. Now you can see by this diagram that it is giving inside thermal expansion and fourth step is about the process and it is said to be adiabatic gas compression. Again the system is thermally insulated in this process also. The temperature again rises back to the TH. H is a heat as the surrounding continues to do their work on the gas. So by the diagram there are four steps overall and I have explained for the, uh, all four steps over here and it is very important to know about the Carnot engine. So here comes the next step. Next question is asking about the boiler. The boiler in which the tubes are placed in a horizontal cylinder is called. Answer is horizontal fin tube. Question number 53 is asking about the reactive power at the load determined by the process that is the field current heating process and it is said to be that a reactive power is the part of complex power that correspond to storage and retrieval of the energy so rather than the consumption on the AC power system there are two kinds of powers real power and that actually does work and a reactive power that enables transformers to transform and generators to generate and motors to rotate. Its work is overall about the uh, process of reactive power at load that is determined by the field current heating. Question 54 is asking about the magnetic density circuit is increased by uh, basically it is increased by the number of turns you can see by the diagram it is shown to you that now as we will increase the number of turns the magnetic field circuit is also increased how can we increase the strength of magnetic field we have basically four ways to increase it number one is 
uh, by increasing the number of the turns as I have already given uh, shown to you over here as we increase the number of turns. Number two is we can also increase the magnetic density circuit by increasing the strength of current flow. As the current flows, the magnetic density also increases. So number thir four, third is over here, third way to increase the magnetic density is use soft iron as a core. So if we will use this soft iron as a core, it will also affect the magnetic density. Number fourth way is increase area of course cross section of the solenoid. So if we will increase its cross section area, it will affect on the magnetic density. It's all about the magnetic density. Moving to the next question, that is question number 55. A circuit breaker that can be separated from the circuit without interruption in the circuit because of additional contacts is called. You have three options over here, removable, separable and disconnector. So the answer is C, disconnector. How? You can see this diagram is giving you here are the disconnectors. So disconnectors are what? In the electrical engineering, a disconnector which disconnects which disconnects the switches basically or we also we can also say these are the isolator switches which mainly disconnect the two circuit breakers uh, in your circuit and it is used to ensure that the electrical circuit is completely de-energized from the service or to, uh, for the maintenance so it is uh, answer is C disconnected. Question number 56 is asking about the which analysis deals with the effect of disturbance on power system. So power system you can see by the diagram it is a stability analyze is a correct answer among these options. So you have to select the stability. Stability analysis. St what actually the stability analysis are. The power system stability involves the steady of the dynamic of the power system under the disturbances. Power system stability implies that its ability to return to normal or stable operation that are after having been subjected to some form of disturbance in this diagram. Power system stability power uh, problems are usually divided into two parts, steady state and the transient steady state stability refers to the ability of the power system to make sure that regain synchronism after small or slow disturbances uh, over here like gradual power and the gradual power change moving to the next question that is question number 57 it is asking about the equipment with capacity to work within range and that is circuit breaker making capacity how you can say circuit breaker making uh, circuit breaker making capacity circuit breaker is an electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from the damage for the overload or over current uh, it is caused basically by the over current or short circuit its basic function is to interrupt current flow so that it can affect it by uh, your circuit breaker after protective relay detect a fault making capacity of a circuit breaker is the maximum current which the breaker can conduct at the insulate or instant of the closing so it its answer is the circuit breaker making capacity so moving to the next question that is asking about the anticipating contact of the circuit breaker is a set of contacts which enable circuit breaker to be removed. Number A withdrawal and it is the uh, correct answer. What you mean by the withdrawal? It is basically the breakers which allows for regular maintenance and provide an easily visible information of circuit isolation but at a cost. So having removable part and the act of that inserting and withdrawing breaker could result in the possibility of causing arc flash incidents. 
So its all, uh, correct answer is withdrawal. Moving to the next question that is asking about the sinusoidal. It has basically two characteristics. Uh, first one it has given a maximum value. You have to select uh, other thing, other character that is uh, correct answer is angle. Angle uh, we can also say phase angle is the second characteristic of your sinusoidal. So sinusoidal voltage and current at constant frequency is characterized by the parameter a maximum value and the angle phase value. So here comes the question number 60 which is asking about the transformer. You have to select one option which is not a transformer. So the, uh, you have given other options. Correct answer is a cast iron transformer is not a transformer. Moving to question number 61. It is asking about the rectifier. Uh, it is asking about the rectifier that a rectifier is what kind of device. Uh, basically rectifier is a bilateral device. In general, a rectifier, what actually the uh, rectifier is, a rectifier produces DC output that are both uh, unidirectional and pulsating. So, it is, that's why uh, bilateral. So, making uh, the compar comparison between the options that linear devices what are the, the linear devices that includes the resistor, capacitor and most inductor when driving with low current. So those are said to be the linear devices. What are the passive devices? Active and passive devices are those basically active device transforms and inject power or energy into the circuit and work for the passive is that utilize power or energy into a circuit. So that's why the bilateral is uh, the correct answer what actually the bilaterals are bilateral elements are defined as the element through which magnitude of the current is independent of polarity of supply voltage this means that the VI characteristic of such type of element does not get affected by the polarity of voltage a resistor is also a bilateral uh, inductor and capacitor are the example for your bilateral devices Moving to the next question, that is question number 62. If current and voltage are out of the phase by 90 degree, then power is, so the answer is 0. Power will be 0 and the C is correct answer. Question number 63 is asking about the for single phase rotary converter, when the power factor is unity, the AC line to DC current ratio will be A option, that is 1.4. Question number 64, that is the last an, last question. The steady of disturbances on power system during abnormal operating condition is called load flow analysis. So, answer is uh, load flow analysis. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video. Like, subscribe and share. And you can follow the other videos and that has given and the complete series this was all about the complete series of jinko test thank you so much best of luck